Today we're here at Timberline Elementary to learn more about our new reading curriculum and to hear about the impact it's having on the learning. So let's step inside to find out more. So Holly, talk to us about our new curriculum resource at the elementary level, the implementation of it, and just the long-term goals of this resource. So we're really excited about our new elementary resource um, for reading and writing. Um, really how this came about was just listening to the voices of our teachers. And they're doing such a great job, but they were working from several different resources that were not necessarily connected. However, we saw the need after listening to them for just a more comprehensive resource so the reading and the writing all flowed seamlessly together. And so that's really what led us to our new elementary resource called HMH Into Reading and we're very excited about it. What sound does N make? And what sound does the D make? Good. So the implementation process really began um, back in January. We started with five campuses and rolled this out to them in terms of giving them all the materials that they needed from HMH. And then we began meeting with those campuses to help them begin implementing. Here you have a vowel, E, and T. So is E a consonant or a vowel? So the implementation, in my opinion, was easy. Um, like anything, it's a new learning curve, but we're already in it to say that we started implementation in January. It's going. Awesome. So we've had about nine weeks in of utilizing them. I'm telling you um, to watch the, the teachers light up when they get that many boxes of materials. The kids have been truly engaged in their learning, and whether it's reading, whether it's writing, whether it's one of the foundational skills lessons, kids have really enjoyed using them, which has allowed the teachers the enjoyment of teaching them to read and to write. Bradley, can you help them? Marching. Marching, very good. They were marching and holding up signs to help show they were just as good as anyone. All of our campuses will be implementing this in the fall. So while the five have started early, the six that are remaining will have full implementation in the fall and we're very excited about that. So tell me, I understand you guys have your own personal book with this new curriculum resource. What do you like most about your book? I like how there's like a bunch of different genres of stuff in the HMH book. So just a lot of options for you, right? You like that? So I actually really like how um, in most of the um, of the passages that we have read, that a lot of them um, have a moral to the story. Okay, awesome. They each have their own, what's called my book, or in the Spanish component, mi libro. And they've got different levels of them depending on the grade level, but they are a consumable workbook that the kids can write in, and they match the story of the week that they are reading so they can look at it multiple times through different perspectives. Upper grades can annotate. There are great comprehension questions in the books, and they are extremely excited to be able to use these. Um, and to write them, then they feel very special that they've got a copy of their own that they can work through as the teachers are teaching the lessons. So you feel like this resource right here packs it all in for yes. you. You just have kind yes. of so yes. many <laughs> options and it's just so engaging for you, right? You have one more here. Uh, I like how like everyone just has their own so you don't have to share with another person. Yeah. It's yeah. just like your personal. Sometimes it's cool to have our own thing, right? Yeah. It's always nice to share, but hey, I like to have my book, my own book, right? <laughs> You've seen this in the learning. What have been the biggest impacts or outcomes that you've observed since you guys have started using this resource? I would say the engagement piece for the students. My students are really excited. So for foundational skills, for example, has been my favorite part, hands down, right? Um, foundational skills includes phonemic awareness, it includes vocabulary, um, decoding skills, and then whatever we do in foundational skills, we see in reading and again in writing. So Liz, as a campus with bilingual programs, how have you seen this resource benefit all of our students here at Timberline Elementary? Absolutely, I think that is the greatest benefit of the HMH adoption, um, is for us to have uh, materials that are completely equitable in English and in Spanish. So our students are not just having materials that are translated into Spanish, but they are trans adapted so the meaning is not lost. So students that are learning in two different languages throughout the weeks are able to see the same materials um, in both languages. And so that gives us greater benefits for them being biliterate through this process. So one more question for you guys. So what, what's been your most favorite thing about reading class over the last few weeks since you've received these new books? So usually there's um, categories, a lot of text features that say extra stuff. You know what I like most? I like that you guys are so excited about reading. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Awesome. 
It's been so fun hanging out with you guys today. I would say I'm excited to get my kids next year mm. who have already been introduced to uh -huh. HMH and I could get off the ground running yeah. um, because they will already be familiar with the materials and then to see that growth. And I've seen that excitement in your classroom today. Thank you. And the fact that our students are talking about this outside of the classroom, right. that's a win for everybody, right. right? Or wanting to read outside of the classroom, that's a win for me. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much All for right. your time Thank today. you, Dr. Schnauz. Talk with your buddy. What are some um, places where you might see or where do you see figurative language in that poem? Uh, Talk with your buddy on that. Just the long-term goals of this resource. How do you think it's going to impact uh, student achievement, their learning? One of them is, it's just a very comprehensive curriculum where reading and writing seamlessly connect to one another. A solid phonics-based program just to continue to build that solid foundation for reading. And then just, a, I believe, student achievement and outcome um, from having a solid curriculum that is based on the TEKS and shows that it gives students that opportunity to really master the content. I'm already re reading fifth grade oh words I'm on the refrigerator. I just love seeing what our students are learning. Today, I learned just how excited our students and teachers are in using this new curriculum resource and how aligned it is in teaching reading and writing across all disciplines here at our elementary campuses. I encourage you to keep asking questions and learning all of the time and as always, I can't wait for you to join me in our next Finding Out.